Okay, now that we've got the uh, hobo packs rolling and we got some bacon rolling, now we're going to do everybody's favorite course, which is dessert. We're going to start by mixing cake mixes and the ratios that the box says. So for these, it's a cup of water for each one, three eggs, and a half a cup of oil. But when I'm camping, I very rarely use oil. Butter's a lot more stable to keep with you. So I have butter in placement of the oil. So now Zachary's going to mix everything together. Start putting your... Yeah. Say we're just using a uh, yellow cake mix. So, and once you get it good and mixed. Okay, watch out, Zachary. We have a 12 inch deep um, cast iron Dutch oven pre buttered. We're going to take half of it, pour it in. And then we're going to take some blackberries and just kind of spoon them in all the way around. Just kind of mix them around a little bit. Depending on how fruity you like it, if you want it a lot more fruity, you can add two cans for this size recipe, or you can add one. So we're just going with one for today, and it actually helps it cook a little bit faster when you have less fruit in it. Pour the rest of it in. Okay, now that we've made the blackberry uh, cobbler, we're going to get it set. So we're going to cook this at 350 degrees and for a 12 inch cast iron skillet, that's 8 coals on the bottom and 17 on the top.
All right, through the cooking process, every 15 minutes, the Dutch oven needs to be rotated for even heating. So you'll take it and you'll turn a quarter of a turn on the bottom. I usually turn the pot to the right and the lid to the left. So when I make my <coughs> quarter turn to the right for the pot, I move, I turn my lid a quarter turn in the opposite direction. And that happens every 15 minutes through the cooking process. <coughs> and this should take about an hour. Okay, as I was talking about was shifting the coals. So we're gonna take the top and we're gonna shift it to the left. Notice I have tongs and a barbecue glove. It's best to stay safe in this situation. So take your tongs to lift your handle up. Okay, we're gonna take it. We're gonna go to the right first, quarter of a turn, and then we're gonna go to the left, a quarter of a turn. We'll do this every few, every 15 minutes during cooking. Um, we keep coals on backup in case your coals deteriorate. Always add more coals because if you get cold, it's really hard to catch the heat back up. But we'll get through the process, and when it's done, we'll show you pictures of a finished product.